What's up everybody, Wade Vanderbilt with DC Title Guy and, and uh, Stuart Title. In today's video, I wanna talk about who is the world's greatest title sales rep. And it's not me, and uh, it's nobody who I've, who I've worked with uh, on the title side. It's somebody who you might not expect. Uh, they're really, really good, they're tough to, to beat. Uh, they're constantly pushing agents to the title company all the time, and they, ex and they actually have the ability to lock you out of their offices. And that great title sales rep is the real estate broker of the joint venture. And I say that because if you're watching this video and you're a title company owner or you're a title sales rep like myself or maybe even a lender, uh, you know that it's hard to compete in that arena. Not that you can't go pick off individual agents and get them, but think about this. They have agents who come into the brokerage all the time and they sit down and the broker tells them, hey, this is our partner over here, right? They're, it's our partner. And that's where you need to be sending your business. Technically, per RESPA, you can't be forcing people to use certain vendors. And I wrote a blog about that a while ago, but that's what happens. And in certain markets, even ours, this also happens where I pull over a top agent, a great agent, they're sending me contract after contract, and eventually a couple things happen. Their phone rings and it's the broker. And he's, he or she says, hey, what's going on? How are the kids? How's business? Uh, then finally they get around to saying, oh, by the way, why aren't you using the title company that you're supposed to be using, our partner, instead of using who you're using? And they have to defend that. It's crazy, but it's true. The other thing that happens is the broker or the associate broker finds the agent in the office and corners them and has to talk. Why are you using Stuart Title? Why don't you use so-and-so, right? And they have, again, have to defend that. And it's not right because in my eyes, the broker works for the agent. It's not the other way around, okay? The realtors, they make the deals, they're selling the houses, they bring in the revenue, right? The broker is there to help support the agent, make them better, teach them, educate them, help them when there's a bind or some sort of issue, not force them to do things that only benefit them, okay? So if you notice, a lot of times joint venture title companies don't even have sales reps. And the reason why is because they don't need one. If they did, they, they do maybe to go get the surrounding business, but they don't need one because the broker is pushing all the business, okay? The joint venture title company gets access to all the meetings. They get access to all the events. They get access throughout the office. They get to teach all the classes. So these agents are blinded. They don't know that other top tier title sales reps are out there that can help them with their website, with video, with data, data mining, uh, partnering with them in other events, and helping them get more qualified eyes to their business, okay? They don't know that. I can't tell you how many times I've met with an agent who said, I didn't even know title companies offered marketing help to agents. It's because they're in the bubble, right? And it's sad, but it's true. So, you know, if you're a title sales rep and you're watching this video and you're thinking, wait, this happens to me all the time. I'm locked out of this office and I can't get in and they won't let me do this, they won't let me do that. I have all these great tools. I could totally help their agents and they would just let me in, but they won't, right? Here's what you gotta do. You got to get the office rosters and you got to start marketing to those people with valuable content, classes, events, things like that, tools, and get them to come to you, okay? Come to your office, come to your event, come to your class, right? Get them out to you, okay? Keep in mind that if you have a good presence online, if you have videos, you can send them. If you have blog content, you can send them. If you have different events and things going on, you can send them or invites to get them out. You don't need a door. You don't need their door. You don't need the broker. You just need to go to the agents who are producing and show them how you can add value and make sure that value proposition is really strong. And if it is, you're gonna be just fine and you can beat that great title sales rep. So I'm Wade Vandermolen with Stuart Title. And if you're a realtor and you're out there looking for a top title company and a title sales rep to partner yourself with to help you build your business offline and online, I'd love to talk to you. Uh, you can email me at wvander at stuart.com or you can fill out a form on my website, dctitleguy.com. If you're there, there should be a form below. Check that out. But I hope this is helpful when discussing the greatest title sales rep in the world that we've all dealt with and how you can overcome their objections and overcome their, what they're trying to do to lock you out so that you can gain more clients.
All right.